we were closer than that. Um, I'm a little upset with you at just the rudeness of that little comment there. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi. Welcome, my name is Veronica and I have a slight problem with ordering thread up boxes, meaning that I keep ordering them and I just can't stop. And at this point, even thread up wants me to stop because they made it really hard for me to get this box. So we're gonna talk about all of that today in this video. I hope you enjoy this unboxing of this 25 piece women's mixed clothing box. And if you do, hit the thumbs up and do subscribe down below if you're interested in all kinds of reseller content. I am a part-time fashion reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Macari. I do send items to ThreadUp as well, and I also sell on The Real Real. So let's dig into this box. I'm going to slice it open. Um, it's the 25-piece women's mixed clothing box. It arrived with a hole in it, so that's exciting. Uh, it's also not very heavy. So I'm not expecting any heavy jackets in this particular one, but we're gonna see what's in there. Hopefully enough to make a good profit off of this box. I've unboxed plenty of boxes on this channel, plenty of thread up mixed women's clothing boxes. And so far I've had pretty good luck with most of them, especially in the past few months. So if that's something you're generally interested in, I have a whole playlist that you can check out specifically for thread up content, but I also have playlists for just general unboxings and also updates on previous unboxings where I check in after a certain time and let you guys know how these boxes have performed for me. So let's talk about real quick why it was hard for me to get this box. I logged on to my account like I always am and I, you know, refreshed the page with the rescue boxes and I saw this box available and I decided to order it and uh, as I'm trying to add it to my cart ThreadUp is giving me this message this user no longer exists which is really freaking rude because first of all I have currently items for sale on ThreadUp I had open orders for other items on ThreadUp and they're telling me I don't exist ThreadUp, I thought we were closer than that. Um, I'm a little upset with you at just the rudeness of that little comment there. And I tried to log on with my dummy account um, that I created by accident, honest to God, same message. And I thought that was really weird. So I go on my different browser, <laughs> log on with my third account. Yes, I have three ThreadUp accounts. That's, that's how you know it, I have like a serious problem. And finally, I was able to order this box, but man, they're really, really making me work for it. And I feel like ThreadUp is sending me a message that even they don't want me to buy these boxes anymore, which it's not in their best interest, but I'll forgive you ThreadUp. If this is a good box, I will forgive you. If you send me a box of crap, then we're not speaking. So we'll slice her open and we'll see what's in there. I'm trying not to get my hopes up, but Everybody loves a good unboxing, even if that unboxing is a fail. So we'll see if this is going to be another I found a Bolo brand type of video or a I got a box of hot garbage type of video or somewhere in between. Okay, so the box is open. We got our invoice. Uh, these boxes go for $60 plus tax and shipping. So all in, you pay about 70 bucks for 25 items. Um, sometimes you get some more items than that, but a lot of times I end up not listing all the items. So depending on how many I list, I will insert here what my average cost of goods is per item based on what I'm actually listing and not donating, tossing, keeping, maybe for personal use. So I will let you know up here. Uh, I do see some air pouches, so at least we have that free packaging materials, yay! And we do have polka dot paper. This box came from Georgia. Let me make sure that is correct and I'm not lying to you, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this box came from Georgia. I have decent luck with the clothing boxes from Georgia. I have better luck with the fun boxes from Pennsylvania. So at some point, if you order enough of these, you kind of figure out where the good boxes come from, but you cannot select that when you order. You just get what you get. And I don't want to say you don't complain because plenty of us do complain, but it's just what it is. I see nothing that excites me so far. It's very dark and looks like dress pants and a dress and a shirt maybe. So let's just see what we got. You never know. And usually everything's kind of rolled up in these boxes. 
so it's sometimes hard to get the first item out. Okay, it's getting a little more colorful and interesting, but let's start with what I think is dress pants, so that doesn't excite me. Unless it's an amazing brand, I <laughs> don't really want to list dress pants, so let's see. It's Talbots, it's a size 2. Uh, Talbots is a solid brand. I might actually list these because I've gotten quite a few Talbots pieces for free through next door and whenever I list them they do sell they don't always sell right away they don't always sell for a ton but they are actually a consistent seller so these are just some basic I'm guessing ankle dress pants and I will probably list those for I don't know 15 to 20 bucks maybe we'll see what happens I'm trying to take a page out of Becky Park's playbook because she always says she's trying to list items that people need not that they want because she's doing better with those so I'm trying to uh, do that as well Okay, we got some athletic leggings by Under Armour. I do see the logo on here, but I don't see a tag just yet. So I'm not sure if we're going to have a size. Yeah, the tag is cut out. That's probably why it's in here, but I can measure it. I would guess a size medium probably. They are capris with this little pink. It's not really mesh, but... This little insert down here, it also says Under Armour. And they're actually a legging with the ribbon for breast cancer awareness. So I don't know if it's gonna help them or not, but it's definitely a keyword I can use when I list these. Um, athletic leggings, Under Armour, or Caprice rather. Yeah, I'll list those. I would say probably a size medium. We'll see what we can get for them. Okay, we got an eyelid lace top that's new with tags by the brand Mink Pink, which I've seen at the thrift but never picked up. I don't think it retails very high. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I may have confused it with another brand because uh, it retails for $109. So I will take that back. So new with tags. That's a good find. It's actually a dress. Where is the front? So here's the front. It's all eyelid lace. It's lined. Um, very cute. Not very seasonal, but hey, I'm not mad at this. Uh, this is a great piece to wear on vacation at the beach. It has a cutout in the back. And it's Nova Tags, like I said, size medium, which is also a good size. And I guess this is somewhat adjustable back here. So if you don't want that gaping cutout in the back, you can adjust that. It is really cute. I like this. No idea how much I can get for that. Just because it retails for $109 doesn't mean it's going to resell high. But a white dress that's new with tags for next summer, I think I can probably get a, a decent amount for that. Okay, I'm pulling out two items at once. We got a Lacoste tiny little shirt. I usually don't pick up Lacoste. Uh, this is supposed to be a size... doesn't have a size, so that's cool. <laughs> it's made in France. It's tidy. I'm going to say an extra small probably. But, you know, the preppy thing, some people like it. I personally don't. Uh, it does have the Lacoste gator on the sleeve as well. Let me try and find a size. I'm going to say this is an extra small or maybe even a kid's because it's tiny. So I'm going to measure it, but I will most likely list that. If you're into preppy stuff and if you see also if you're into any of the stuff that I'm showing and you're interested in purchasing it before I list it um, and save some money on platform fees and shipping and such, do reach out to me. Um, my Instagram information is always down below and also right here. And also my business email is down below in the description as well. Okay, we got your typical Threadup Box brand, which is Loft, size large. This is a flutter sleeve top, blouse, career top in this dusty pink mauve color. It's kind of cute. I kind of, ooh, kind of like this. I might keep that, not sure yet. Might keep it for a little while. Um, it's definitely mixed materials, like polyester in the front and then some sort of modal blend, I would say, in the back. I have a few loft pieces that are like that. Rayon and polyester. So yeah, um, quite comfortable in the back and then a little more business in the front so yeah i'll probably either list it or keep that i haven't decided yet okay what is this this is like wrapped around all these other things and it looks kind of goth and interesting with roses okay it's entro okay so there's etro and entro and i think entro is the lower end boutique brand because i tried to remember it when i'm at the thrift entro with the n um stands for no <laughs> So the N stands for no, don't pick it up. But if you see Etro, pick it up. I hope I'm getting this right. This is kind of cute though. Okay, what is this even? It's not a, sh what is it? It's like a poncho, not a poncho, but like a, a shrug. 
a shawl. I'm guessing it's one size fits all. That rhymed. Oh, it's a size small, which doesn't matter because like I don't even know if you can see what this looks like. So let me put this on. A size small might be behind, honestly. So it has this burnout rose pattern. Not sure if you can see this. That's the wrong side, Veronica. It's very pretty. I like this. It doesn't go with my Hot 100 shirt that I thrifted and that I might need to keep, but it might be for sale as well. But anyway, that's the thrifted item I'm wearing. It's cute. I like it. Ooh, I see my batteries going down. I better hurry it up. Yeah, no idea how much this goes for. 15 bucks maybe? I oh, don't know. Okay, this looks like it could be a dress. And it is by Maurice's, a size seven slash eight. Maurice's, I kind of stopped picking up, unless it's at the bins and super cute and obviously super cheap, but this is a cute, adorable dress that I'll probably have sitting forever, but I really like this style. I don't like the mint color, but the navy blue lace overlay is really pretty. So hopefully by next spring, this will sell, maybe even before. It's like a fit and flare dress, very cute. If this were my size, I would probably keep it and never wear it because where am I gonna go in that? But yeah, that's that's solid. It's not bad. Okay, this feels cheap and handmade. City Studio, size zero. Okay, not, I'm pretty sure I've seen this brand before, but I've never picked it up. Oh, I should show you the label. City Studio. It is pretty. It's a very, very, very long maxi skirt. That's supposed to be a dress. I think it's a skirt. Is it a dress? I'm very... No, it's a skirt. Okay, so it's a very long skirt with this floral pattern. It doesn't feel very nice, but I'm sure this will photograph quite well. So I'm definitely going to list that. No idea how much it goes for. And I feel like this is like floor length and you can drag it behind you. So if you have like an event, that might work. But yeah, size zero. Very, very, very cute. Okay, we got more Nuba tags. Treasure and Bond from Nordstrom. Let me pull that out. Oh, it's all the way in there. So Treasure and Bond, I don't have much luck with, but Nuba tag, why not? It's a size medium and, oh, that's cute. Um, it has these big dramatic sleeves here, almost like, a, I don't know what you call them. They're not, oh, they're kind of puffy sleeves, but not really puffy. Almost like you have uh, shoulder pads in there. So Treasure and Bond, from Nordstrom and does have the tags on it. It's one of the Nordstrom house brands. It's a size medium. This retailed for 39 bucks. Uh, if I can get 20 for it, that would be nice. Probably not, but we'll see. It's very cute. Uh, if this were my size, I would consider keeping it, but with the new tag things, it's always hard for me to keep it because I feel like I can get more for it reselling it, but that's not always the case either. Just because it's new with tags doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna sell for a ton more. Okay, this is not exciting. It's Signature by Robbie B. Also a brand I pass a lot at the thrift. And it's a little black dress. Uh, a sheath dress with this whole situation here. I don't know what you call that. I'll have to look that up. I'm not sure if I'm going to list this. I'm very much not excited for this. I might send that back to ThreadUp because I do have a box... Uh, not ready to go necessarily. I have more room in there, um, but I have a box that I will probably send with the partner program and get some credit for probably Athleta or Gap or something like that. So if I do that or when I do that, I will probably film it and let you guys know. Okay, we got Banana Republic Factory. Also a staple for your thread up boxes. Um, it, uh, it could be silk, but I'm pretty sure it's probably polyester. So it, it has a weird color. I don't know what the color is supposed to look like, but I'll figure that out. Um, has a little bit of a pattern, blue, little career top. We'll probably list that. Um, Banana Republic does sell for me. I just don't pick it up. So I will list it when I get it in a box like this. It is polyester. Every once in a while I pick up a silk piece, but yeah, nothing too exciting. Uh, we got more loft, petite, curvy, size four. Pair of dress pants. Pretty sure I'm gonna send these back to thread up or take them to buy sell trade because there's nothing more boring than women's dress pants and men's button down shirts i can tell you that much we got gap factory or outlet or whatever uh, in case you're wondering uh, these three dots for gap and banana republic and then also for j crew i think they just have two um usually indicate 
the outlet or factory or whatever, so lower end line. But these are some little chambray shorts. Very cute. I will probably list them just because I think they're kind of like loungy, summery, and I think they're going to sell for like, I don't know, 15 bucks maybe. So I'll probably list them. We got N. Taylor. Okay, so we got Loft, we got Banana Republic, we got Gap. Of course, we have to get N. Taylor. Um, Nut Outlet, so that's decent. It's a mock neck rib knit brown sweater. Oh, yeah, not excited for that. I might list it for cheap and sell it on eBay. You never know. It does feel nice. Um, the material feels quite nice. I will give her that. I mean, it's a good quality brand. It's just not something I sell. I don't think it's what people look for in my closet. So, yeah, it's just rayon polyester nylon spandex. But it feels nice. Size medium. Yeah, I will count at the end just to see how much we got. This is a very sequiny little something. The brand is Metaphor. It's another brand I pass at the thrift. Uh, is this supposed to be a dress? A top? I have no idea. It's very shiny and very see-through. Um, do we have a size? Okay, we don't have a size, so that's great. Um, tags have been cut out with the exception of the brand, so that's gonna be a donate because I can I cannot do anything with that. I don't want to measure it. I don't want to try to figure out the size because it's probably only gonna get me like eight to ten bucks, so yeah. And buy sell trade is probably not gonna take it either because it doesn't have any uh, size or anything like that. Okay, we got Talbot's Pima Cotton, size medium, little cardigan. That's cute. I'll list that. Again, 50, 20 bucks. Let it go for 10 on eBay. That's cool. So we got a lot of career wear, which I'm not excited for, but it is what it is. We got Laundry by Shelly Segal. I think that's how you say the name. Size small. Uh, kind of like Ponte pants. Ponte, Ponte, very stretchy. Again, so boring to list this. I don't know if I'm gonna list these or not, I might. But in case you can't tell, I'm not very excited for this box so far. I mean, there were a few pieces that were like, okay, nice, but nothing that totally wows me yet. But I'm getting Nuba Tag stuff, so this is either Nuba Tags or a boutique. No, it's Nuba Tags. The brand is spelled O-G-L-E, and there is a pronunciation key. Ogle? I think Ogle. Noun. Flirtatious look, bedroom eyes. Synonym. Come hither. Definition. Look, examine, consider. Constructed from the finest quality yarns on earth. And it says Judy Black, handwritten on here, and retailed for 84 bucks. Not sure if you can see that, if it's showing up. But here is the brand. I have never heard of this. I'm guessing it's lingerie based on this description, but maybe not. It's a size medium, it's new with tags, as you saw, and it's also very see-through. Is that a pattern for this box? Interesting. I'll have to look that up. I mean, if it really retails for that much and if there's a following that I'm just not aware of, cool. It's a little... What is... Oh, I didn't even see that. You guys saw that. I didn't see that. This whole floral situation up here. Um, yeah, I, I have no idea what this is going to go for. I will list it because it's new tags and it has a whole story on it. You never know. That's the nice thing about these boxes. You do discover new brands and sometimes they can do really well for you. And then you may be on the lookout for those. Um, not this one. <laughs> Another dress. Speechless. Just one of those little cheap brands. I don't know where this is sold. It's a cute dress. I will probably list it. Maybe somebody wants it for New Year's. I don't know, 15 bucks. And it's a size small. We got more dress pants. Thread up, I swear to God. <sighs> Saint Senly, Sunly. There is a lot of writing on there in a language I don't speak. And it has a size that doesn't help me either. So unless this is a super Bolo brand, which I don't think it is because I can literally look through these pants. Uh, yeah, mm, that's gonna get donated. <laughs> I mean, I'll look it up, but I don't have high hopes for that. Okay, we got Socialite, which is also not a expensive brand, but they make cute stuff. Um, so small, little cami, shell top. Probably won't list that. Might send it back to thread up. We'll see. Does not excite me at all. Okay, we got Michael Stars, who usually does like the one size fits all thing, but this actually is a size small, and it's just the basic rib knit 
kind of like a thermal. I will list this just because the brand does sell. I haven't picked it up in a while, um, but when I did pick it up, it would sell for like 15, 20 bucks. So that could work. Um, we got Old Navy shorts. I also feel like I always get Old Navy shorts. These are cute though. They're like a checkered gingham style. They're not gonna sell now, most likely. And when they do sell, they're not gonna sell for much, but I'll list them because people like Old Navy. They know how it fits. They know their size. Do I have a size in this? Size two. So it's cute. I mean, I'll use keywords like picnic and retro and something like that. Okay, we're down to the last item already. And it's a pair of G Whoop, Nope, I lied. Two more. One was wrapped up in here. More Banana Republic factory, size small. Another career top. Oh my God, so much career wear. I'm sad. <laughs> It's cute with the color blocking. I will list this, but yeah, I'm not excited for that. And we got free people. Okay, so at least there's that. But free people jeans also have not performed well for me, so I'm not too excited. At least they're size 28 and they're high rise. So free people jeans, high rise, skinny black jeans. So that's not bad. As long as they're in good shape and don't have any major issues some fuzzies. I don't see any puckering. I don't see any crotch issues. Oh, that's very quotable, crotch issues. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with it right now, which does not mean that there may not something be wrong with it. A lot of times I find lots of flaws after I film these unboxings. But yeah, so at least we got some free people, which again, free people doesn't really sell well for me anymore. So we'll see how these do, but I can probably get 20 bucks out of them. So let me count real quick. Um, yep, we're at, at the bottom of this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Twenty-five. Okay, we got exactly twenty-five items. I tried to pre-sort a little bit, so based on what I've sorted so far, I will be um, I will not be listing the following items. So the Robbie B dress, I will not be listing. I'll either send it back to ThreadUp or donate it. The Loft Petite pants, dress pants, I will also most likely send back to ThreadUp. So that's at least two that I'm sending back. This one, these dress pens by the brand I'm not familiar with, with all the Asian writing on the tag, I'm sending back, so that's three. Um, the socialite top, I'm pretty sure I'm also going to send back, so four. And then this, I just have to donate because it doesn't have any size tags and nothing, and I just really don't wanna list this. So that's five items at least that I'm not going to list. So we're down to a maximum of 20 items and with $70 in, you can do the math or I can do the math for you real quick. Two hours later. Okay, so if I end up listing these 20 items that I have right here, my average cost of goods is gonna be 350 per item, which is still not horrible. It's kind of right where I wanna be when I go thrifting at the thrift store. But I also have a lot in here that I wouldn't picked up, wouldn't have picked up otherwise. So I think I can still make a good profit, don't get me wrong. But it's just, you know, it's a matter of how excited are you to list these items? How long are you gonna sit on them? And is it something you want to have in your store and closet? Some people would list everything. I'm not one of those people, but I'm also not going to donate everything because I do want to make a profit. I don't just want to make my money back. That's not the business model. I do want to make a profit. And I think I can with what I have here, but it's not the most exciting box. I will tell you that. And you're going to have boxes like this. It's not horrible either. Don't get me wrong, but there was no item in here that completely wowed me. I'm glad that I got, I think three or four maybe items with, that are new with tags. So that's always good especially with Christmas coming up and people potentially shopping for new tag items not so much in my closet but <laughs> you never know might happen but overall um, just an okay box from Georgia not mad that I got it but also not something that has me overly excited to try really hard to get another one at this point so I can promise you that there will not be another unboxing before the end of the year and before my uh, big relocation to a different state but I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm okay for a while on ordering these boxes. I might get a fun box at some point. Maybe I'll get a shoe box, but really the priority right now is getting this stuff listed, get everything else listed that I have and get some inventory out. I will most likely do a big sort of clean out of inventory before I do move. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, um, I'm relocating for my job at the beginning of next year, 2022. I do have a little bit on that in one of my update videos on my whole going full-time series. And I can link that video up here if you're interested. 
And so, yeah, I'll be trying to just reduce the amount of inventory that I have. Right now I'm at 800 active listings, but I also have a good pile of probably between 50 and 70 items that are not listed yet. So, you know, closer to 900 items and I would really like to get that down to 7, 750 um, or even less. And I do have a lot of items that I've been sitting on for a really long time and that are not selling and that I might just try to take to buy, sell, trade or just donate or put in a box and send to thread out. If you want a good deal on anything, do check out my closet. Um, my Poshmark closet is where I list everything first. So that is the most current, up-to-date, most complete uh, place to go if you want to shop for something. Just send me a message in a bundle. Let me know that you're watching my channel and that I send you there and I will give you a good deal, I promise. So I hope you will check that out. But if you don't feel like shopping, that's totally fine as well, of course. Um, I would appreciate it if you do subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up and also the bell notification. That way you do get notified whenever I post a new video. And I hope to see you real soon for another, most likely an update video of some sort for a previous unboxing or haul and I will see you then and I look forward to it. Until then, cheese!